Hi, hope your day's been great because we're moving forward. I've gotten a lot of interest in involution and wanting more information about that very process. So I have been talking for a very long time about the evolution of our soul and the many aspects from the little uh, stone the simplest of simple of simple consciousness it's very extremely simple i can't even talk to you about how simple it is because it goes way into an area of simplicity that i can't even uh, express to you but you can understand it's a v extremely simple simple consciousness and it's, and we've evolved through all these different forms and we've come into the animal and the uh, human kingdoms. And then there is the spiritual kingdom. Jesus said, the Father is within you. The Father and I are one and the Father is within you. And that is important for you to recognize your own God self. Involution is when the soul has evolved to many, many aspects of evolution and come into that place where it's said, I am starting to go within. I have had all these great experiences doing all these things and now it's time for me to come into the truth of my beingness. Every soul comes to that point where they say, I want the truth of my beingness. I've done all kinds of wonderful things, lots of fun things and lots of not so fun things. I've made a lot of decisions for my soul that were really uh, very detrimental. And I made a lot of decisions for my soul that were very wonderful. But now I've had all these experiences in the opposites. And now I want to move into that part of me that where I can find the, my inner truth. So you, at that point, before you come into incarnation, you make that clear to the karmic board, which we've been talking about for the last many weeks, that that would be a decision your soul would make to start the involutional process of your soul, of your consciousness. Because up to this point, you've been interested in the outer. And you've been little eyes living in the outside world, so to speak, in the world of form. Buildings and, uh, buildings and uh, uh, bodies that are in a form, all these things are forms. And now you're put in the place where you're saying, I want to understand more about who I truly am. I've had all these experiences. They've been interesting, wonderful, and not so wonderful. But now I'm ready to make a huge shift in my desire body. And that huge shift is about going within, going to that part of you that knows the truth of your being. So it's the involutional process. And there's a lot of, um, I want to say, steps to this, if you will. And I've talked to you about it before. There's a lot of steps. I want to bring your attention to this little poster I have. And here, the soul is looking to God. And we all understand that we're wired for spirituality. That's the truth of your being. You have the DNA of God in you. But how are you going to find and dig out that DNA? How is that going to be possible for you? It's possible by the desire of your heart. All the other incarnations you ever had were built from your desire body. 
what you wanted, what you wanted to experience, who you wanted to experience with, and how each and, and everyone intertwine with each other. So the thing that happens once the soul has decided it's had its day and the experience of all these other aspects of humanhood now it's I want to go within I want to know myself I want to know the truth of my beingness now I'm intelligent to know and intuitive enough to know there's more and I want to go to that place where there's more and at that point we start that involutional process and it is a process just like it's been a process for you to have all these different experiences in the in the third dimension also the animal life also the plant life whatever you've experienced through the process of your spiritual development and it is spiritual development that's exactly what it is you evolved and evolved in consciousness conscious awareness and now your opportunity to go within has come how do we make that transition within how is it possible so when you are moving to that place within yourself that you look at the fact that now you're tired of this third dimensional world and all the opposites that now you stand with the karmic board and say hey how do i go home how do i move out of this state of being this human state of being into my spiritual state of being which is another process just like the animal was an animal state of being and then the human state of being and then the god state of beingness pure beingness but that has to be a decision made at a soul level i'm now an individual soul asking to move into the oversoul god infinite intelligence i have a real hard time trying to tell you what name to call it except infinite pure intelligence uh, universal eternal uh, what do we want to call it name it whatever you want to the Lord of Lords, the, the, the consciousness that created us all. That's where we want to go. We want to go and understand that part of ourselves. So now that you know that this is where you want to go in the, your next lifetime, which obviously you have asked to do, or you wouldn't be even listening to what I have to say. There isn't very many people that want to leave humanhood and go into divinehood, whatever we want, spiritualhood. I wish I could come up with a great word for that, but I can't because it would be limiting. Any word I use is limiting. So I want to just put it the next step of your beingness. Simple as that. I'm ready to go to my next step of beingness whatever that means. However that's going to show up, I want to do that. And that's the desire of my heart. And that's the goal that I ask the karmic board to put together so that everything that's in my lifetime will help me to go within and to know the truth of my beingness. Now that you've put that energy out there, it created the lifetime you're living right now. Because I'm not talking to anybody that hasn't already made the decision to go within. Absolutely. 
and do have the evolution of within us. Otherwise, you would have walked away from this video and, and the Center for Enlightenment and all the things I teach long ago. You're sticking in here for a reason. You're sticking in because there's a part of you that knows the truth of what I'm saying to you. You made a decision. You decided before you ever came into embodiment that you were going to grow spiritually. You would go within. And so you made the effort to do your meditations. You made the effort to create the observer self that could help you to move through this lifetime intelligently and not creating any more karma for yourself. But pay off the debts that you have that are outstanding, so to speak, and take care of them with love, with respect, and with the desire to complete this karmic cycle that you're in, to move out of it all and move into the next aspect of your beingness. I like to use that word because I, I'm most comfortable with that. Now, what's it going to take to take your next step? What's it going to take? Now, I've told you, desire creates the next possibility. So your desire to do what you're doing and being more present in the now moment and understanding more of who you are is exactly where you're sitting today. And it's possible for you to open up more of your consciousness than, than you have at this moment in time and space that's sitting there watching this video. There's more opportunities for you. There's more possibilities for you. But you have to desire it. You have to desire to go on. You have to desire to become fully conscious and move on. And it has to be extremely strong. And once you have made that decision, everything in your life in a conscious way will change to make it possible for you to take that inner trip that you, your soul wants you to take and open up the floodgates to higher consciousness. Are you with me? I hope you are. Because there's another commitment you have to make. And every step you take, there's another commitment. Because this journey has so many different aspects to itself that you can go and have a lifetime when you begin the process and then you continue it from, for other lifetimes. Because to unravel all this, you might not be able to do it in one lifetime. Maybe you can. Maybe in other lifetimes you've desired to do this. And so now you're here and ready to do it. And then I have people that this is their first lifetime to ever desire to know thyself in God. And there is a process to help them to evolve and to work in the best interest of their soul. So there's all different souls at different levels of the inward journey. And you all know one thing. Meditation is the key for you. Doesn't matter where you are on the scale of things. Meditation is your key. Devotion to the goal. The desire of your heart. The energy that you put forth to open up the next door of consciousness that 
is going to be revealed to you will be very much different than the one you're sitting in right now. You've come to the crossroads. You've come to that point where now it's very important for you to recommit yourself to the journey and do it with force and desire and power. It's like we desire to have this unfold within us on a 50% burner, enough to get us in the class. And then we have to add more to the fuel so that we can go faster. We have to have more desire to learn and to grow and to become spiritually conscious of our whole self in the new dimension of beingness. So, it's your opportunity to say, how have I been doing doing my meditations? How have I been doing being the observer of myself? How have I been doing in forgiveness? How am I doing with unconditional love? How am I doing with selfless service? These are the checklist. You have to ask yourself these things and look at yourself with the observer self watching what's going on in your life right now and checking it out. So that you can have a new perspective, a new perspective, a new understanding of your journey. Everything is commitment. Once the commitment is made from the heart of heart of you, the ball starts going down the, um, the mountain. And the inward journey begins. And as you're moving into more withinness, you're going within and within and within, so to speak, more revelations are coming to you more understanding of the third dimensional world and how it affects you and what karma you're doing and why you're doing it and why you've made the decisions you've made in a conscious level. You made them on the other level, but you haven't made them here for more understanding. Then, at that point, where I'm taking you right now is to make a, a greater commitment and do your checklist. I just gave it to you. I want you to check it out. Run this video back and pick up that checklist and think about it. How are you doing on that checklist? If there's something that you need to redo, redo it. If there's somebody that you haven't forgiven, forgive. If there's something you haven't observed that you wish you could have observed more clearly, then go back to that step and, and look at it. It's about resolving conflicts within yourself. Because you've lived in the opposites, there's a lot of conflicts in your subconscious. You love something, you hate it. And then there's the now moment when we go into that space where we have clarity 
clarity about what's really going on in our life. So you're ready to take another step, but you can't take it till you commit to it. We are coming into Thanksgiving. We are coming into Christmas. We are coming into a whole new energy again. And there's a deeper commitment you must make on this journey. Because as a new energy comes in, You'll be pushed back and say, oh, wow, it's too much. I can't handle it. Or you can say, I'm stepping up to the plate. It's not going to bowl me over. I'm stepping up to the plate. If there's more forgiveness I need to do, please help me to do it. Show it to me. I can't forgive something I don't understand. And remember that the one thing that I always found out about forgiveness is ultimately I had to forgive myself for the decisions I made or the undecisions I made and just let things happen to me. You have to be responsible. With responsibility, as you well know, comes a whole new process that you go through to understand more about who you are. Then you're responsible for the evolution of your soul, which takes many degrees and many um, revelations, many revelations. So go back. You are wired for spirituality. It's always been there. It's not something that you didn't have in your last lifetime or the lifetime before that or the lifetime before that. You've always had the DNA and God in you. It's pushed you forward to the place you are right now. So there's no excuse for you to say, well, I guess I don't have it. Well, you do. We all have it. Thank God we have it. Thank God we can't get rid of it. We can't get rid of it if we wanted to. It propels us forwards. It pushes us. It's that very creative aspect of us that the desires are made out of. So I challenge you. Now that we're moving very close to Thanksgiving, and very close to moving another whole, into another whole aspect of self. The hour is here. We are soon going to take the seven steps for releasing the year 2013 and moving into a whole new year. Prepare your consciousness for the possibility to open up a door that will propel you more directly into the God essence of your beingness. You see, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. And that means a sh huge shift in energy. And you need to be absolutely ready to move with it. Otherwise, you will not be working in the best interest of your soul because you will be just peddling where you were in 2013. Hoo hoo. I'm just peddling. You don't want to pedal. You need to move out into another commitment that says 2014, I want to do everything I can to push myself forward. I'm not satisfied and I won't be satisfied till I move into that aspect of myself, which is God aspect, where I melt into the next possibility of my evolutionary process. So I support you and looking at yourself really carefully because we are soon going to be taking the seven steps for releasing this year. And you need to be prepared. 
and you need to be courageous because I'll grant you there's many things that happened this year that were wonderful and many things that happened that weren't so, so sweet because we live in the opposites naturally. So start now preparing your consciousness for the next evolution of consciousness that you are going to be having by letting go of the old to move into the new. We always have to do it. We always have to, to do it every single year, every single time that we are going to make a switch in consciousness. We have to let go of the old in order to open up ourselves to the new. And you all know it. So I support you in the process of looking at yourself and opening yourself to the new possibilities that are coming to you because I know they're coming. I look forward to taking this journey with you. I call it kind of the holiday time. We go for Thanksgiving to Christmas to the first of the year. Everything changes. And I want to always be on top of the change. And I know you do too. Bye bye for now.